So a tweet stating that they saw Deer and Ken out together is now going viral on Twitter. That tweet stated, why well, just saw Deer and Ken at Target? So then there were hundreds of tweets of people stating things like Deer back with Ken and how y'all know Deer and Ken back together. Well, Deer was surprised to find that her name was trending. She stated, wait, what I miss? Why am I trending? Now, after she found out it's because she's allegedly back with Ken, she then goes on to repost a tweet that stated, a lie don't care who tell it. LMAO. So now Royalty and CJ are back at it again after CJ posted text messages that Royalty's boyfriend sent to him. So CJ texts Royalty, I don't know why you gave your crackhead boyfriend my number and my address to my house, but just like when you set me up to die the first time and they failed miserably, he will also fail. But this time I'm putting names on bullets for y'all. Then Royalty comes back and responds with, CJ so scary. You seen Rico at one of the drop-offs and ain't been back since. You got me driving 15 minutes away to the police station when you only live five minutes away. Then Royalty also states, CJ so scary. You the same person who pulled your strap out then run to the police station after. You ain't him. Now then Royalty's boyfriend exposed some messages from CJ now I'm not sure who CJ was actually texting in these messages but her boyfriend actually exposed CJ's phone number then royalty states steady into it with the female but when a male steps in you cry wolf she also says you really got these people at my house and kids school shaking my head now by these people i'm assuming that she's speaking on cps after cj claimed something may intentionally have happened to Dea at royalty's house so then cj goes on to end the beef well at least for today and he states it would be embarrassing for me to participate in any negativity moving forward. I feel like I'd be doing God a disservice if I didn't take this second opportunity to elevate and not allow drama to consume me. As I've already shown via my videos, I can and will move on since I have no desire to affiliate myself with drama. So do you guys think that CJ is done with this back and forth thing with royalty? Leave your opinions down below but let's move on to this next topic with Crystal because she recently posted a truth or drink with her friends and they asked her the question, did she recently exchange numbers with a big time rapper's brother? Now this was Crystal's response. Okay. Is it true that okay. one of the biggest niggas out here at your neck? <gasps> I just wanna know. Oh! <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> Somebody brother, your number, a couple weeks ago. This, this shit too much. Now, Crystal didn't mention any names here, but people are assuming that this may be the brother of Chance the Rapper, which is Taylor Bennett. I mean, they did say one of the biggest rappers brothers and Crystal and Taylor are following each other on the gram. So you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. But let's move on to this next topic with Carmen and Corey. Now, a few days ago, I did a video on Corey being arrested because of some things that Carmen brought into the car. Well, Carmen and Corey did go live and speak more in detail on exactly what happened that night. It's always black people that do the most. I got pulled up by six police officers, right? They took my car. They took me to jail. You know? And the 
All these that pulled me over, bro. It's so funny because niggas be hanging so bad, bro. Like, I just left court just then, as you guys. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just left out of court. You know, so I gotta go back to court next month. But man, these folks told the lady. These folks said they pulled me over, improper turning. I didn't tell them I had a gun in the car. I didn't tell them I had my license, my gun license. I got my gun license here. And what did he say, baby? He say, he say that. My gun, I told my wife to hold my gun. They said I told my wife to hold my gun. Yeah. Man, let me tell y'all something, bro. These niggas so funny. First of all, when they put, and I, I'm gonna tell them folks, I'm gonna tell my lawyer to tell them to run their camera back. I wanna find out what the police officer, he's a big, a big black nigga. It's a bit like kind of buff black nigga. He think he, he tough, you know, I don't know. It, it always those people, it's always those people that just feel like they just got the up or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they just, Big dog or whatever. Like, dude, you was a police officer, bro. I don't give a fuck how tough you think you is. Yeah, you just got the authority to the, 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 do certain shit, but, like, you was a police officer, bro. Niggas, niggas really got to understand who they are before they go to fuck with certain people. Like, I ain't trying to call myself better than nobody. But, dude, you was a police officer, bro. Nigga pulled us over, car. nigga ain't asked me no question. I asked dude, I said, why you pull me over? He said, improper turning, and next thing no, know, now look, Carmen did have a blunt in the car. I did not know the blunt was in the car. I promise you, I, I, had, I didn't even know. So, we pulled me over, we see the blunt. He just say, step out the car, put me in handcuffs, and put me in the back seat of the police car. Dead ass, no cap. I can't make this shit up. That literally how quick it, it happened, so quick. It was like, a, uh, what it is? Step outside the car, sir. What I do? Put your hand on your back, you got weed right there. Step inside, go sit inside the car. They put me inside the car. They, been they was over there trying to tell, make Carmen snitch. So, babe, tell them how they was over there questioning.